Do you want to be in the video? Or do you want to sleep? What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel for today's video. I am recapping my favorites for the month of October. The last vlog that you saw from me was my trip to London and I had so much fun on that trip. I'm excited to recap a couple of things that you might have seen in that vlog as well as some other favorites that I've been enjoying for the recent weeks. We're just gonna dive right in, get started with our fashion category. First thing I wanna highlight are these ragged bone jeans that you saw in my video, you might have seen my video or my reel, but they are the softest thing ever. I also showed this in my packing video. So I sized up like two sizes on this and they're actually quite baggy because I had thought they were your typical stiff, cotton and I just wanted them super super slouchy so I really really love these these are like one of my favorite finds of the year just because of how comfortable they are like they're practically sweatpants so I did get these hemmed because they do run pretty long most likely bringing this to my upcoming trip to Paris as well highly recommend if you like the denim look but want the comfort of sweatpants next up is this little personalization detail that I was able to do on uh, my Bottega Jody. Got this done at Harrods, and you just have my initials over here. Have an A and an L. So they told me that it has to be in that place. Just a bit of gold over there. It is gold hardware. I don't know if they're going to be doing it in silver. It would be wise to because I know some of the bags have silver hardware. You guys know I am such a big fan of my Jody. This is probably my favorite Bottega bag and you can easily remove them. So it's not invasive to your bag. It's literally clipped in. It's like just fastened on. To my knowledge, this was just something that they did in the south of France and then I saw it in Harrods, and then apparently Selfridges is getting it for the holidays, so it might be opening up at a couple of other stores. Go check your local boutique and see if they will be doing this. I think it's a great addition if you already have an existing bag, or if you plan on getting a bag, maybe get it done at the same time. Literally took five minutes, and I really just love this extra touch. Next up for fashion is going to be the Wear It Well book by Alison Bornstein. This book is great for editing your wardrobe and really understanding what your style is. And with this book, I was able to really narrow down my three words that describe my style. For my three words, I've come up with neutral, comfortable, and classic. When it comes to getting dressed, those are probably the most important components when it comes to me putting together an outfit. To be comfortable first and foremost, you will not catch me in anything that I don't feel comfortable in. Obviously neutral because I feel like it's the easiest way for me to mix and match in my wardrobe. And then just classic because I like things that I know will stand the test of time. Obviously I have leaned into some things that are a bit more trendy like the Mimi pocket bag. But for the most part, I want to say that my wardrobe is pretty classic with pieces that I know can hang around for many, many years. And last but not least, the Mini Kelly that came into the picture this month. It's also my very first Hermes piece that is in Palladium, and I actually really, really love it. The vintage one that still yet to come back is box with gold hardware. I was on the way to just taking a mini Kelly off my wish list because I figured it was impossible. But as soon as I updated my sales associate that I was open to hardware, this literally happened in less than a week. Trust in your sales associates. If you get the vibes that they're gonna make things happen for you, stick with it. I had one sticker left. Once I get the vintage shoulder Kelly back, I will do a review comparing that with the Mini Kelly as well as the Pochette. I'm able to really minimize the things that I've needed to carry with this bag and because it is coat season as well, I've been able to just put additional things in my larger pockets and so all works out. Moving on to the tech category, we need to give another shout out to Caseify because I was filming one of those like outfit of the days while I was in London and this fell off a ledge out in the street onto the sidewalk 
and my phone is perfectly fine. Also, AI generated pets, another favorite for the month, but let me get to that in a second. My Caseify code should still work, so I will have that link down below. Love these cases because had I probably been in another case, I might have had to deal with a shattered phone mid-trip, and that would not have been fun. I did get a little bit of scratches in the front, but you know, it was totally fine. Next, we have to talk about the Pixar animation pets. So this is my screensaver. It's an animated Wade. I literally have so many variations of Wade as a Pixar animated pet just because I got so addicted to making these. I do have a tutorial on Wade's Instagram. I'll also have a link to the program down below. You can make a certain amount per day. You just really have to be very specific about your prompt. Again, I have an example on Wade's Instagram, so I will leave that link down below. And I think it's just such a great way to create something so cute of your fur baby, whether it's a cat, whether it's a dog, whether it's a cat and a dog, whatever else animals you may have, it is so cute. And this is probably one of my favorite things about how AI has developed, to be able to generate a cute cartoon version of my pet. Okay, next one isn't exactly a favorite. I'm including it just for the tech category. It is my Sony ZV-1 II. So I'm including this because I do think it's still a very great beginner vlog camera. Because I've been mainly filming off my a7 IV and my Sony ZV-E1, I did notice a difference when I switched to a camera that is definitely on the lower tier because it is a fixed lens. It's a tiny little compact camera. So obviously I noticed a difference when I came to edit this video. So this is a great camera if you plan on just being on the go and you need something tiny. I loved how much wider this actually filmed, but it is not great in low light. So if you are using this camera, make sure you're in good lighting. Stabilization on it, huge improvement from the older version. So I would still recommend this if you are looking to get into a beginner vlog camera. I will have a link down below and with Black Friday coming up, I would highly suggest keeping an eye on this. So again, if you are looking to get started but you don't want to do any cameras that involve, you know, getting lenses because once you get into the lens game for cameras, it does start to add up and get pretty expensive. With this one, it's a great way to really get started if you are looking to begin vlogging and you just want something nice and easy and light. So this one is also a Sony tripod, zoom and record with this one as well. So I think it's just a great little compact camera. I think for travel, I still love my Sony ZV-E1, but say I need to film in the city and I know it's gonna be daylight, this is a great little compact thing to bring because obviously this fits so much easier into most of my bags. And then last for tech, speaking of cameras, the Leica Q3. But to be able to have gotten my hands on this in London, was so clutch because I had been on the wait list for this for months. I'm so happy with how the photos this turn out. It just really gets me back into photography and I used to do a lot more photography back in the day until I started to get more into video. This is so great when it comes to working with clients, especially for hotels and interiors. And so I'm very excited to shoot a little bit more with this. I really wanna make it a point to get back into photography for the new year. And so I'm so excited to have this in my camera arsenal. Now we are moving on to the beauty category. So this month I did these brown nails that I actually really love. I actually have a nail appointment next week. They're growing out a little bit, but I think I'm going to do this color again. I really like it for the cooler months. I was debating on going lighter, but I'm really into these. Next is this cleanser by Elemis. It feels so good and it literally makes removing my makeup at the end of the day just feel like a whole luxurious spa moment. This is the cleanser that I used in my trip to London because I actually had just recently run out, but we'll definitely be restocking this because I love the way that this feels and the smell of it just feels so relaxing. Literally the perfect way to end a long day, especially if you are wearing a lot of makeup, just easily melts away and feels so good afterwards. Next is the Jolie Showerhead. This has been fed to me on ads for so long that I finally pulled the trigger because Marco and I had a broken shower head and he was about to replace it with some ugly looking one. And I was like, no, let's see what the hype is with this. And 
it feels so nice. The only thing with this is that you do have to buy their replacement filters. I do feel like my hair is a lot healthier and I just like how clean it looks in the shower. I don't know how to explain it, but I just, I mean, I've been doing a lot of things to my hair to kind of get it into the healthiest state that it could possibly be in, like reducing hair tools and dyeing it and I don't know if the shower head is the only thing that helped fix it, but I'm sure it's a contributing factor. So for anyone that is interested in this Jolie shower head, if you needed the final push, I'm saying it's worth a try because Mark and I have really loved it. And it is an ad that worked on me. It also comes in a couple of different colors. So depending on what your bathroom setup is, you can find something that matches the hardware that you have in your bathroom. Next are Caudalie products because two serums have worked out really, really well for me and I've really enjoyed them so much that I actually stocked up on so much Caudalie during the Sephora sale. So in addition to the two serums that I use, which is actually this one over here, the Vino Perfect, I love that line. I will be bringing this along for my travels. This is a cute little travel set, but you also get this beauty elixir that I've heard so many good things about. So Caudalie sent me this, thank you so much to Caudalie. But for Sephora sale, I had to grab a couple more things. I picked up the Vino Pure Gel Cleanser. So I am going to be trying this. I also got a restock of my Dermalogica cleanser that I just use all the time. But I want to see how this one works out. This is now turning into a little mini haul, sorry. This is with salicylic acid and organic essential oils and grape water. This little mask that's in here. I got a full size of it. This is a detox mask. And so I tend to have, you know, like enlarged pores that kind of get clogged up really easily. So I was looking for a lot of products that have to do with pore care. And so I'm excited to try this one out. I also grabbed the pore tightening serum as well as the Vino Perfect cream. This is a brightening moisturizer. And then because my hands get so dry, I picked up the hand and nail cream. Last but not least is the MediCube device. I've heard so many good things about this. I bought it during the Sephora sale and I have been using it as a part of my routine. I don't know for sure if it's just the serums that I'm using or if it's actually this because I started using this after I probably had been using the serums maybe for one week or two weeks already. And then once I started this is when I started to really see a difference. I don't know. I mean, I got this for $100 off. Am I glad I got it? Yeah. Could I live without it? Probably. But I don't know, Korean beauty just sometimes it's just like, it really reels you in. I think using this with your serums and moisturizers just helps it really get into your skin more. But I did want to include it because I was seeing changes. I just can't scientifically verify if it's solely because of this, much like the shower head. Too many variables to come to a scientific conclusion, but that is it for me. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.